Hi, Danny from American River Ace Hardware, and today I'm gonna to be tearing apart an Ironwood 885 hopper assembly just to let you see what's going on inside it. Let's just do it for fun. Let's see. I'm gonna start with the controller, impact driver, good pressure. And I'd like to hit the trigger a couple times just to make sure it's not bound up. Last thing we want is rounded off heads, which we made a video about. Now we can come in here, unplug all of this. Actually, that one doesn't need to get unplugged. Pellet sensor, that was a thermal coupler. Uh, these kind of get mixed up nowadays. This is the fan. This goes to the auger motor, hot rod. And this is the power supply. And right here is your pellet sensor. And it's just held in by two screws. Don't want to drop the screws into the auger. It's a little tough to get them out. They do have a connector on here, but since we disconnected the controller, it's not attached anyway. So we're just taking it out like that. I do use the orange Traeger tray. It's great for working on fishing reels as well. But it holds all your parts in there. So actually, I've already took the screws out of this bottom cover here. And this is gonna fall out like that. When you do put it back in though, remember that has to go back inside. Now for your auger motor, there's gonna be a connector right here and it has a little clip on it. You just pull it in and it pops right off. Then we have four Phillips screws. I'll support the auger motor and it'll just come right off and make sure you don't lose the screws here's what it connects into now these mounts are separate from the unit and from the auger and I have seen an auger jam from a customer that put wood shavings in their hopper and the auger motor was actually powerful enough to rip all the mounts out of this sleeve in here that's hot pressed into it not an easy task to do but it did it so the auger motors are very strong then don't put shavings in your hopper lesson learned pro tip before I take the fan off, I'm going to free it from any other wiring. I'm going to cut the head of the zip tie off so I don't have to worry about nicking any wires. Now the wires are free. All right, so now we'll be getting to the, what Traeger calls the power brick. And this is gonna convert the power and it's gonna be 24 volt. I believe cause the uh, auger motor is a 24 volt. The fan, the induction fan is a 12 volt. And I can't find what the hot rod is running off of. Also, if you want to know if your power brick's getting power, there's always going to be a light on them and it will be 
I believe usually green. They've had a couple different power bricks since they came out with them. So outside the hot rod, all the components here are everything that consists of making your Traeger do what it does, whether by its brain, knowledge, movement, or power supply. They have upgraded this auger motor since the first revision of it. And this is about a, the first year to two years into the makings of the Wi-Fi grills. And uh, this upgrade model is just a little more uh, robust and it's sealed up quite a bit better to the elements. Uh, no exposed bearing on this side, no exposed bearing to the motor on this side. So no moisture is gonna get in here and get in the in the motor workings. It's all sealed up real well. So it's good to see these things being put together by Traeger. I'll try to make my life easier. So that about wraps it up for the inner workings of a D2 Traeger grill. They uh, have made it much more accessible to work on without having to take the whole shield off. Access is better, removal is better. They made it relatively accessible for about anybody. Thank you for joining us.